If you don't want to miss any videos uploaded by me, please follow these steps. In your cell phone, open YouTube and type Shaker Math in the search box. Then you will see my photograph in a circle. Touch the subscribe button and also touch the bell icon and select all. Then you will get instant notifications whenever I upload any of my videos. Welcome to Shaker Maths. Today we are going to learn 6th class Mathematics Semester 2, 6th chapter Basic Arithmetic. Exercise 6.2 Problems. Exercise 6.2 First problem. Check whether the following are in proportion or not. A, B, C, D. Solution. Before going to do the solution, let us know the concept. Proportion means equal ratio. It can be denoted as a to b is c is as c is to d or a is to b is equal to c is to d. Then it can be written as a d is equal to b c. Take the first problem 10, 12, 15, 18. Take the extreme values 10 and 18. Take the product 10 into 18 is 180. And take the middle terms 12 and 15. Now do the product 12 into 15 is 180. Both values are equal so product of extremes is equal to product of means. So the above numbers are in proportion. Next b. 11, 16, 16, 21. Take the extreme values 11 and 21. Take the product 11 into 21 is 231. And take the middle terms 16 into 16. Take the product 16 into 16 is 256. Here observe that these values are not equal. So product of extremes is not equal to product of means. So the above numbers are not in proportion. Now see 8, 13, 17, 19. Take the extreme values 8 and 19. Take the product 19 into 8 is 152. Now take the middle terms 13 and 17. Take the product 17 into 13 is 221. These values are not equal. So product of extremes is not equal to product of means. So the above numbers are not in proportion. Next D. 30, 24, 20, 16. Take the extreme values 30 and 16. Take the product 30 into 16 is 480. Now take the middle terms 24. 20, 24 into 20 is 480. These values are equal. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. So the above numbers are in proportion. Next number 2. Write true or false for each of the following. A, B, C, D. Solution. First problem A. 4 is to 2 is as 14 is to 7. Means 4 is to 2 is equal to 14 is to 7. Take the extreme values 4 and 7. Take the product 4 into 7 is 28. Take the middle terms 2 and 14. 14 into 2 is 28. Both are equal. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. So above numbers are in proportion. So above statement is true. B. 21 is to 7 is same as 15 is to 5. Means 21 is to 7 is equal to 15 is to 5. Take the extreme values 21 and 5. Take the product 21 into 5 is 105. Take the middle terms and take the product 15 into 7 is also 105. So both values are equal. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. The above numbers are in proportion. So the above statement is true. See 13 is to 12 is as 12 is to 13. Means 13 is to 12 is equal to 12 is to 13. Take the extreme values 13 and 13. Take the product 13 into 13 is 169. Take the product of middle terms 12 into 12 is 144. Both values are not equal. So product of extremes is not equal to product of means. So above numbers are not in proportion. So above statement is false. D. 5 is to 6 is, is as 7 is to 8. Means 5 is to 6 is equal to 7 is to 8. Take the extreme numbers 5 and 8. Take its product 5 into 8 is 40. And take the product of the middle term. So 6 and 7. 6 into 7 is 42. Both values are not equal. So product of extremes is not equal to product of means. The above numbers are not in proportion. So the above statement is false. Number 3. Check whether the following form a proportion. Write middle terms and extremes where the ratios form a proportion. A. B. Solution. A. 15 centimeters, 1 meter and 45 rupees and 300 rupees. Observe that here 45 rupees, 300 rupees are both are in same quantity because both are in rupees. So they form a ratio. Whereas 15 centimeters, 1 meter are in different quantities because one is in centimeter, another is one meter. So to make it a ratio, let us write as 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now 15 centimeters and 100 centimeters both are in same quantity. So they form a ratio. Also let us find out the above 4 quantities can make a proportion or not. For that 
take the product of the extreme values that is 300 into 15 is 4500 take the product of the medium values that is 45 into 100 is 4500 both are equal so product of extremes is equal to product of means so the above four numbers for are in proportion so middle terms are 145 and extreme values are 315 now b 20 ml 2 l 100 rupees 10000 rupees observe that here 100 rupees and 10000 rupees are both are in same quantity because both are in rupees so they form a ratio whereas 20 ml and 2 l are in different quantities because one is in ml another is in liters so they do not form a ratio to make them a form a ratio let us convert or write 1 liter as 1000 ml and 2 liter as 2000 ml now 20 ml and 2000 ml form a ratio and also let us find out the above four quantities can make a proportion or not for this take the product of the extreme values that is 10,000 into 20 is 2 lakhs and take the product of the medium values that is 2,000 into 100 is equal to 2 lakhs both are equal so product of extremes is equal to product of means so other the above four numbers form a proportion so the middle terms are 2100 and the extreme values are 10,020 now number four find the missing numbers in the following proportions a b c solution number one a 8 is to 12 is equal is as box is to 48 let the missing number be x say then 8 is to 12 is equal to x is to 48 here both are in proportion so product of means is equal to product of extremes so 12 into x is equal to 8 into 48 so x is equal to 8 into 48 by 12 on simplification by 12 12 1 ja, 12 4 ja, 8 4 ja, 32 so the missing number is 32 next b 15 is to box is as 105 is to 98 let the missing number be x say now 15 is to x is equal to 105 is to 98 so both are in proportion so product of means is equal to product of extremes so 105 into x is equal to 15 into 98 x is equal to 15 into 98 by 105 on simplification by 15 15 1 ja, 15 7 ja, 7 1 ja, 7 14 ja. so answer is 14 so missing number is 14 next number c 34 is to 102 is same as 27 is to box so let the missing number be x say 34 is to 102 is equal to 27 into x so both are in proportion so product of extremes is equal to product of means so 34 into x is equal to 27 into 102 so x is equal to 27 into 102 by 34 on simplification by 34 34 1 ja, 34 3 ja. so 27 into 3 is 81 so missing number is 81 thanks for watching video don't forget to subscribe say karmas